one of the most prolific rebounders in NBA history. Jerry Lucas is one of only two players to average a 20-20 in two separate seasons. On offense, he was ahead of his time as a big man with a potent long-range shot and was a key piece to the 1973 champion Knicks. I had played against Luke, of course, and when we played against Ohio State in the Final Four. The one thing he could do, the biggest skill he had was exceptional timing in terms of his ability to rebound. He could certainly pass, he could shoot, he could do the whole thing. And the good thing about Jerry Lucas that I've always admired was that he was able to pace himself all game long. Whatever pace he was playing at the beginning, he was into the same pace at the end, rebounding hard, making the plays, filling the lane on fast break. And at 6'8 and good weight, uh, he was a special kind of uh, forward. Cody Smith in front to Lucas in deep. He turned, goes right around Nelson to score. A beautiful pirouette turn by Lucas. When Jerry Lucas arrived, you know, it was like typical of today's game. Where, where is this star going to fit? And he fit in all right. He brought a dimension to the Nick games that was never seen before. Jerry Lucas has a shot. Give him that much time and look out. He brought this Empire State Building shot that went high up in the air and went in a lot. This is Lucas. Lucas nearly tore the nets off. The ability he brought was a very active center, a very strong rebounder, and he gave us tremendous team speed because he could get out on the break and, and uh, he was another player that would fly in there and dunk the ball, and there weren't a lot of players at that time in the European or in the Olympics that uh, dunked the ball. There were players that dunked it, obviously, but not that many, not like today. So he, he, uh, he gave us a quickness, a great offensive uh, talent, very good shooter, and uh, smartness. He understood the game very well. He, he blended in good. Rebounding was my strength and my love. Lucas gets the rebound. I thought about rebounding all the time. Lucas with another rebound. A lot of players think about scoring. I thought about rebounding because it was what I enjoyed and what I wanted to do, and it, was, it made my heart beat. He was one of those guys that uh, if you ever missed free throw came off, he was going to get that rebound. When that ball came off, he didn't wait for it to come to him. He went and got the ball. Lucas from the outside rebounding position went over his man. Sean, how did Jerry Lucas pioneer the power forward position? Well, when he came out of college at Ohio State, he was like a lot of centers, undersized, 6'8", six, 6'7", six, and you, you go to the NBA and you're in a shock. All of a sudden, you've got to guard Wilt Chamberlain. <laughs> That's a tall order. So they came up with a new position called power forward, where he came in and he had a lot of big men sensibilities. In other words, he was tough, a rugged rebounder, but he was also a good shooter. He could shoot with range. So when you combine the two, he really became the prototypical power forward. There was like a six year stretch in the 60s where he averaged close to 20 points and 20 rebounds. That's astounding. And when you look back at it, the only player who approached those numbers during that time was Wilt Chamberlain. Later on, he joined the Knicks and won a championship with those great Red Holtzman coach Knicks. So when you look back at his career, he became sort of like a pioneer at a position called power forward. And to illustrate that, he did have a 40 rebound game. Very impressive. The only, the only non-center to have a 40 rebound game. The thing that Jerry was remembered for also is his memory. I counted and memorized the number of cracks from my home to school and the sidewalk. I even got to the point where I started counting the number of broken paint strips and highways, and I found that there are 132 paint strips for every mile and every road in the country. He uh, had an incredible memory. He would travel the country putting on memory shows and, and things that he did that you could hardly believe. He had all these card tricks. He could remember the New York phone book. So I don't think he ever slept. His mind was always keeping him awake with deals and thrills and stuff that he came up with. I memorized every player of every team in the NBA. I knew what they were going to run many times before the rest of their teammates did, and I could pass that information on to my New York Knicks teammates, and it helped us tremendously. 